Mischa. Division is a concept that adults use all the time. It becomes very frustrating when we're teaching young learners about division and they just can't seem to figure it out. The reason is we kind of forget what it was like to not know how to divide things. We do such simple little division problems every day that we forget what it was like before we learned how to do division. When you're teaching it to a new learner, it can be kind of complicated and a little frustrating. These are some strategies that you can use to make divisibility a little bit more concrete for young learners. One is easy. Every number is divisible by one. When we divide any number by one, we get that same number. Let's take 24 for instance. 24 divided by one equals 24. Imagine taking 24 objects and putting them into one box. How many objects are in that box? All 24 are in that one box. Any number divided by one equals the original number. The strategy for two is also pretty simple. Any even number is divisible by two. Three is next, and this is where the strategies start to get a little bit more complex. The strategy for three is adding up all the digits in the number, and if your sum of all of those digits is divisible by three itself, then the number is divisible by three. Let's take a look at that before we write it down. Let's use the number 33. We want to find out if 33 is divisible by three. What we're going to do is add up the digits as if they were individual numbers. So this would be 3 plus 3, which would give us 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 33 is also divisible by 3. Next up is 4. 4 has a pretty simple strategy as well. When you're looking at a large number, to decide if it's divisible by 4, all we have to do is look at the last two digits. If the last two digits by themselves make a number divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible by 4. Let's take 554. If we're looking at 554, we can just look at the last two digits, the 44. 44 is divisible by 4, therefore 554 is divisible by 4. Five is one of my favorite strategies. It's one of the simplest of this entire list. If the number you're looking at ends in a five or a zero, it's divisible by five. That's it. Six, we're gonna introduce a part of the original two rules. Because six is made up of two and three, we just have to check to see if rule two and three apply to a number. So if a number is even and the sum of the digits is divisible by three, then the number is also divisible by six. So by following rule two and three, we can determine if a number is also divisible by six. Let's take the number 332. First, we check to see if it's even. It is even, so it is divisible by two. Now we're gonna check our three rule, which is adding up all the digits. Three plus three is six, plus two is eight. 332 is divisible by two and divisible by three. Since it follows, follows both of those rules, it's also divisible by six. There are divisibility strategies for seven and eight, but they're so difficult, they tend to be more of a hindrance than a help. You can check them out in the article, but we're gonna skip over them in this video. The rule for nine is very similar to the rule for three. If you add up all the digits and the sum is divisible by nine, then the number itself is divisible by nine. Let's take 72, for example. If we add up 7 plus 2, the answer is 9. 9 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 72 is divisible by 9. Our last strategy is going to be for the number 10. The number 10 probably has the simplest divisibility rule of them all. If the number you're looking at ends in a 0, it's divisible by 10. If it doesn't, it's not. Using these rules, we can determine whether or not a number is divisible by any of these numbers. Let's try one together. The number is 42. So we're going to work our way through here and determine what numbers 42 is divisible by. First, 1. Every number is divisible by 1. Therefore, 42 is divisible by 1. Number 2. Any even number is divisible by 42. 
42 ends in an even number, which means it's an even number itself. So 42 is divisible by 2. Now we'll go to 3. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, it's divisible by 3. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 is divisible by 3. For 4, we're going to use the last two digits. So if these two digits are divisible by 4 together, then it's divisible by 4 itself. 42 is not a number that is divisible by 4. If the number ends in a 5 or a 0, 42 does not end in a 5 or 0. So it's also not divisible by 5. Now we'll look at the rules for 2 and 3. We already did that before. It did follow the rules for 2. It did follow the rules for 3, which means it's also divisible by 6. Sum of the digits is divisible by 9. 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 is not divisible by 9. So 42 is not divisible by 9. The last one is 10. Does the number end in a 0? 42 does not end in a 0. Therefore, it is not divisible by 10. Let's run through another example with the number 70. 1, every number is divisible by 1. Is it even? Yes, 70 is even, so it's divisible by 2. Is the sum of the digits divisible by 3? 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, it is not divisible by 3. Uh, using the last two digits, 70, 7 and 0, are not, is not divisible by 4, so the whole number is not divisible by 4. Number 5, does the number end in 5 or 0? It does end in a 0, so it is divisible by 5. It did not follow the rules for 2 and 3, remember? It was not divisible by 3, so it can't be divisible by 6. The sum of the digits divisible by 9, 7 plus 0, is 7, not divisible by 9. And 10, does it end in a 0? Absolutely ends in a 0, meaning it is divisible by 10. These strategies can be a great way to get start, students started on division, especially when it comes to things like fractions, finding common denominators, and finding equivalent fractions. Be the first. Grab a special discount for the new Learn Like Nostra educational app. Visit learnlikenostra.com or scan the QR code for more information.